Hey, what's up everyone? We got a brand new update in Sea of Thieves, and just like usual, we're gonna talk about it. So this is the last update for season six before we move on to season seven at the towards the end of July. So the biggest change in this update was new Golden Sands Outpost. That's the new name for the outpost because Merrick side won during the Lost Sands adventure. So we're now finally seeing the results of that. So the fog has lifted and you'll start seeing repairs being made. It's not completely hooked back together yet, but over time you'll see these changes start being made on the outpost, getting it back to the way it used to look. But also they say that they're gonna make more changes to protect against from future attacks. So you'll probably see like some cannons added, maybe a few towers, that would be pretty cool to see. Uh, it'd be pretty interesting. Maybe this will be like kind of a good spot if you're trying to like sell stuff and you wanna protect yourself from rival players that are attacking. Could be very interesting to see in the future. So with new Golden Sands Outpost, players can now again spawn at, get voyages and sell like normal, just like they used to back before the fog came. While I was definitely on the team for Reapers, I will say I'm looking forward to having Golden Sands back. It's nice not to have to go all the way to Sanctuary Outpost when you're a lot closer to Golden Sands Outpost to sell your loot. Next, let's take a look at the Emporium. There's new prehistoric plunder set featuring a new ship set, costume, and lantern. This whole set looks really good. I don't know if I'm gonna do it before you buy a video on it just because uh, that's a debate whether I'm, I'm gonna keep doing that series. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it, but I think the ship looks really cool. It kind of ties in well with the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movie coming out recently. So I don't know if there was a planned timing on that or if it just was a coincidence. We also got a range of new emotes that just got added, including the new free emote for this month, which is called the Rant and Rave emote. So you can go into the Emporium, go to the Pirate tab, and you'll see this new emote there. Definitely make sure to go grab that emote while it's still free. Another thing to note that you'll probably find interesting is from June 24th to July 11th, there's going to be a summer sale in the Pirate Emporium for stuff like the Collector's Pets and a bunch of emotes. There will probably be some other stuff, but those are the two main things they talked about. So keep an eye out for that, that should be starting tomorrow. Speaking of new cosmetics, in the Outpost shop, we got a new Plucky Ruffian clothing set. So it doesn't seem like we got a ship set or weapons or equipment yet, but maybe those will come out in future updates. So far, it's just the clothing set in this one. Next, let's move on to game changes. So we got a ton of game changes, a lot of bug fixes in this update. I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but we got a lot that is pretty interesting. So let's go over it. First is controller settings. So if you play on controller, you now have the ability to swap the analog sticks. So this will make it so on the left stick, you'll be able to look around with it. And on the right stick, you'll be able to use it to move. I'm not too sure why someone would want to do this, but it might be interesting to try out and see if you like it better. So next, let's look at skeleton forts. You'll notice now that they have a lot more food in the barrels and it's better food. So I think this is to make it on par with the sea forts that a lot of people will have been going to just because of how good the food and stuff is from the barrels there. I know that's why I like to go there, I like to supply up before I go on to my main adventure. So I think this is a way to kind of balance those two out and make them more on par with each other. You'll also notice that the skeleton forts there are now dedicated cannonball barrels, which will look similar to the ones you see on your ship. Randomly spawning skeletons that you find on islands across the sea of thieves, now when they spawn, their damage will be reduced, so you shouldn't be losing as much health when fighting them anymore. This is a nice update. I don't really think the skeletons were too overly high damage. I'd rather see changes to the sirens, to be honest, but this is always nice. I mean, it can be annoying, say, if you're either doing something or you're fighting other players or something, and then you just have a skeleton shoot you and take, like, half your health. That's usually pretty annoying. Next, we're talking about a bug fix that actually annoys me a lot that they changed. So now, when an emissary goes through the portal for the Tall Tales, it will no longer drop a broken flag. This is really aggravating to me because for a while now, we've had players that will be on an emissary, and if they don't want to fight you or they're too scared, a lot of times this happens with Reapers, I find. They'll go through the portal, and then they're just gone. You can't attack them anymore. This is really annoying, but before you had the benefit of, like, even though they are gone and you can't attack them anymore, a copy of their emissary flag would be there and you could grab it and sell it. So it usually wouldn't upset me too much because we got that. But now that they changed that, not only is that ship able to escape and keep their flag, 
but now you don't get anything for it. So I think that's really annoying. I think either they, I think either they need to change it back to what it was before, or make it so that you can't go through with an emissary flag to begin with, because it's super annoying to me when you see a grade five reaper just go through the portal because they're too scared to fight you and they go to a new server. Let me know what y'all think about this bug fix in the comments below. This one is probably the one I'm most annoyed about with this update. Moving on to some other lighter news, the Veil of Ancients costume is now available in the Pirate Legend shop rather than from the Pirate Lord. I think this makes a lot more sense, so that's a good change. The Legend of the Veil Voyage had some changes. The main one that I noticed was with shipwreck graveyards, now they will have sharks. So I didn't realize that they didn't have sharks before, but this is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's fine to be honest, because if you're doing one of these voyages, you're probably experienced enough to take on a shark and not have too many problems. Hopefully it's not going to spawn like three or four or five of them even at the same time. I've had times where like you'll have three sharks spawn and they're all trying to attack you at the same time. That can be really annoying and it's hard to fight them and survive from that. So moving on to the sloop, there are some changes. Now the pet cage on the sloop has been moved so that it's away from the voyage table. You'll also notice that you can now place pets on the beds on the sloop. So that those are two very interesting changes related to pets and the sloop. So I don't know. I, was, I never really thought about it. I never used the cage on the sloop. So let me know if y'all use this cage at all and if you were ever having problems using it next to the voyage table. So we now see some more construction happening at the different outposts except for Golden Sands in regards to the Sovereign. So now you can see like this big pole was erected. This is going to be like the main part of their setup. And I think soon, probably not this month's update, but I'm assuming with the Season 7 release will be like the finished product. I think these tarps over here are going to be used to like make a tent. I think you can see most of it inside the trailer, so we already kind of know what it looks like. There's not too much to guess with, but it's nice to see that there's some progress happening in-game with it. Finally, the last change I want to talk about in this video is Luke in the Pirate Legend hideout now has speaking lines. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. So I think this is interesting. The reason I wanted to talk about this was because since they gave him speaking lines, they may use him for a future adventure as like a, someone to talk to and stuff. It seems out of the blue to me for them to randomly decide to give Luke speaking lines unless it were to be for something in the future. Unless he's going to be talking about something that's happening in an adventure, maybe he's going to help with the fight against Flameheart, who knows. But I thought I'd mention that here, I think that's very interesting and we should probably keep an eye on that in the future. So that's everything you need to know about this month's update. A lot of interesting stuff updated and changed. I'm a little upset about, you know, the one thing with the emissary flags, but in general, I think most of the updates are pretty good this time around. So next week on June 30th, the Forsaken Hunter adventure starts in Sea of Thieves. I think this is going to follow Merrick's storyline and following the events of Lost Sands, and I'm very interested to see what happens. I'm going to have a video covering that and a full guide for it when the adventure starts, so keep an eye out for that next week, and then we'll have a bunch of other stuff going on within the next week as well. But that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be great to like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.